Good morning. Good morning. M Chapel United Methodist Church, 814 10th Street, Bell Dunn, Mississippi, 3903. A church where everybody is somebody and Jesus is Lord. Youth Sunday, June 25th, 2003, 11 a.m. Reverend Sharma Lewis, Resident Bishop, Reverend Ricky Haynes, District Superintendent. Reverend Christopher Carpenter, Pastor, yours truly worship leader. Can we please stand for the call to worship? As we worship God, all of God's attributes of glory, mercy, and love show forth. We humble ourselves in God's holy praise. Because God is awesome. Yeah. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for this glorious Sunday morning. We thank you for waking us all up this morning and providing us the breath, the mindset, and the goals we have on today. Lord, we thank you for our youth of our community who has joined us on today to celebrate your name. We ask that you may cover our children, that they may do what they come to the house of the Lord to do. Lord, we ask that you cover Max and as you do the first speaking on today. We ask that you bless our community, our youth, as they prepare to enjoy the remainder of their summer and prepare to return back to school. Lord, we just ask that you just cover our children, Lord. Cover the children all around. The things that they see, Lord, make sure that they know that the humbling of the Lord is in their home as well as in the church. Lord, in these and other blessings, we pray in the Son, Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please stand for the affirmation of faith. Look at it here. You might have to come
Next, we will have a poem by Miss Zion Home. Good morning. 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 Fear has been their nightmare. Fear has been their share of drama. They are not aware. They ask for space and fresh air. They hopefully wish for a year. Cash of an unknown billionaire, big brands they want to wear. Wild words from Christ they don't hear, hand in hand with sin like a pair. They hold their heads in despair. Young people are in need of proper care. Moral teenagers they wear, now they are progressing nowhere. Hunter got hunted by a bear. They need to step away from a snare. Otherwise, they might think life is unfair. They need to realize that having an affair with the mighty God is truly fair. Amen. Amen. Yes, can we please stand for the prayer of illumination? It's located in the inside of your program. Yeah. 
together. Lord, open our eyes. Thank you. 
And we have to we have to allow ourselves to fight for what we want. Yes. And that want should be cold. Right. And then I researched the definition because now I need to research. I mean, come on, I'm in school this summer. I haven't done enough of my research. So now I'm going to start researching things that I need to know. So my definition of holy is dedicated or consecrated to God yes. or a religious purpose. Yes. It means sacred. Yeah. So what I gathered from my definition is I'm determined to please God. Right. I'm determined to praise God and I'm determined to understand his word. Right. I'm determined and I'm God fearing. Now you may ask, what is God fearing? So I have another definition. So that definition is the Lord is almighty. He is uh, powerful. He is amazing. Yep. He woke me up this morning and he can lay me down and give me a chance. Right. I'm glad to lay. Right. So I then wrote and said the one should be God fearing. So now we know what God fearing means. The one should have faith. I have another definition. Faith means complete trust. We should trust God. It is a strong belief in God or in the doctrine of religion based on spiritual apprehension rather than proof. I believe in God. We don't see God in the world. Okay. Yeah, so I don't need to see God in order to believe in God. That's right. That's My right. fact is I trust that God will lead me in the right direction. All right. I trust that God may see the danger that I may not see. All right. I trust all right. that God has my back in any given situation. All right. and That's he, right. he is all most untrustworthy. Yeah. Yeah. Got excited though, Lord. All right. That's, all right. That's all right. That's all right. That's all right. I would say that we will not be useful too long. It's coming to an end. Most of us were high school students, if not almost living. High school is a rocky road. But now that it's coming to an end for me, play a point for high school. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. And once we cross the mountain that is rocky, we will live in faith. Amen. 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 So I also said that the want should be his word. Remember this word. Uh -huh. We're all human and mistakes are meant to be made. We all make them. Why? But what we know the word of God has faith. Why? We walk by his faith. That's why. Right. That's why. Right. people of God. So we know what to do. That's why. Right. You either stand up, sit down, stay in your house, go to church, and you pray. Oh, yes, right. so prayer works. Yes, right. so prayer will take us far. Yes, success comes from working hard, being a hard working person, but it also comes from prayer because blessings don't just fall from the sky. All right. The Lord blesses us with things we need. Okay. Yeah. All right. So I then go to say, in the next few stages of our life, we're going to need prayer more than we think we do. You watch the news, you know what's going on. Going All right. right. So, a word that is very strong to me and that I strongly believe in is the word love. Mm -hmm. Love is a strong four letter word that we carry with us daily. I love TV. I love my phone. Mm -hmm. I also love the things that I carry around with me. I love shoes. We love all the material things, but do we love thy neighbor? Now, let me not take you too fast. So, in Matthew chapter 22, verses 36 to 40, and if you want to go to your Bible, it's Matthew chapter 22, verses 36. Verse 36 starts with teacher, which is the great, which is the greatest commandment in the law. Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second one is like it. Love, love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. All right, all right. So from that I gathered, Jesus being our teacher informed us that the person we should love with all our heart, and I'm a science girl, I love science, so with all our whole party of basketball, all of our soul and mind, you yes. should love God. Right. He's who we have most at our heart is time, when we're failing and when we're stressing. That's right. All when we believe we're not going to make it, but he has the faith. When the finish line is here. Oh, yeah. So that means God has the faith and when men and what we should do. That's why. So then I go to James chapter 1, verses 4 through 8. Let perseverance finish its work so 
that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Right. Now, I am going to fast myself. I'm shaking up here and I'm nervous. But I would like to say that Sunday when Pastor Carpenter asked me to speak, I was very shocked and surprised. I was like, me, sweet, for you? All right. <laughs> so, so I told my Aunt Pam one day we was at her house this Sunday. I think it was Sunday. Um, that I was called to be a page for Senator Tanya. And we stayed in my cousin's bedroom house. We go back on the lawn. But I started with the LOL group. And Kayla's here. And she helped us through everything that we're going through. So I started praying and reading the Bible. And I took you to James. And I want to say January 17th, 2023, it was in my heart to speak to you. Then come one of these past recent Sundays, Captain Carpenter asked me to speak to you. So I had this scripture a long time ago, crying out to cry, because it was on my heart already to do so. So I go back to James and I and said, Let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. So what I gather from that is despite every problem you may face, yeah. Yeah. God knows what he has. And yes. Yes. After That's all right. the tired days and nights, he knows. Yes. Yeah. But we have to continue to grow and work hard in order to receive the greater good without missing a piece to that person's puzzle. That's why. Right. So That's verse right. five goes to say, if any, well, no, what I have to say, if any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault, and it will be given to you. My apologies, that is verse five. If there is any disbelief you all, turn to God. That ties back to God being a trustworthy and mighty God. Yes, Lord. So verse 6 goes to say, but when you ask God, you must believe and not doubt. Mm. Again, you must not doubt God. Yeah. Because the Great. one who doubt is like a wave of yeah. the sea. Yeah. Long and talks away by the way. Oh, yeah. All right, so I gather from that, believe in God because he hears you. He sees you and he has faith in you. If you don't believe in God or asking for anything, your wishes won't be granted to you. And that wish will continue to go unnoticed as long as you don't believe in him and trust him. So here's an example. Well, God, why can I do this? And why can I have that? God answers, and you'll one day hear him when he says, you didn't believe in this, and you won't receive that. church 
them over. Is there anyone here that's ready to give your life to Jesus on today? Today is a good day. The Lord has got his arms open wide for you. You may be saying that or find every excuse why. You may be saying because you may be struggling with different things, whatever you're struggling with. But I'm here to let you know if you give your life to Jesus on this day, he will take care of those things you are struggling with. You don't have to try to get perfect to give your life to Jesus because you will never be perfect. In this earthly way. So Jesus is not looking for you, to, as I always tell the church, Jesus is not looking for you to be religious. All Jesus is looking for is a relationship with you. If you want to change life, give it to Jesus. Yes, sir. If you want things to begin to move in a positive direction, give it to Jesus. There's nothing too hard for you. There's room for you here at Evans Chapel United Methodist Church. But more importantly, there's room for you at the cross. There's room for you in God's kingdom. He loved you so much. He gave it all. Gave it all. Just for you. You are never too old. You are never too young to give your life to Jesus. Will there be one that's ready to say, I'm ready to start running? Here I am, Lord. I give my life to you. All you have to do is give your life to Jesus. Have faith in Jesus. Believe that he died on the cross. Believe that he rose from the dead. And guess what? You're saved. Don't let nobody tell you because of your imperfection that you are not saved. Because if you have a relationship with Jesus, that's all. That you need because he's going to continue to transform us. Sanctifying us does not mean that we get so holy that we're doing on our own. Sanctifying work is the work of the Holy Spirit in you. With everyone. He dare be not. The Holy Spirit gave it to me. And I was going to have all of you to come across the altar. All of you. Amen. You I just wanted to encourage you. No matter how tough life gets, don't give up. I'm here to let you know that that uh, Satan is always going to try to attack, but don't give up. God created each of you in His image. That means you are God's master. God has chosen you for God's mission in the world. And I want to encourage each of you to, to listen to what the speaker has told you. 
God has got this job. Yeah. All you have to do is follow God. Even when it's just, even if you have to follow God all by yourself, follow God. Yes, Lord. Each of you are called to be a servant. Oh, yeah. And whatever, wherever He leads you, be prepared to go and serve. And I truly believe in my heart that God is preparing you for great. Amen. And God's kingdom. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to pray over you on this morning. Because you have a tough road in here. But God. It's amazing. It's amazing. I'm going to spouse. The day for our seminary class, the class uh, May, is but God. No matter what you're going through, but God. God. When your when your when your enemies try to turn on you, but God. God. When you feel like you want to give up, but God. When 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 you don't know which way to go, but God. When you're confused about this decision, but God. Yes, Lord. And because God got all this. Amen. All we have to do is follow God. Yes, Lord. Let us pray. Oh, yeah. Gracious Father. Yes, Lord. I want to thank you for our young people on yeah. today. Thank you, thank you that you have created them in your image. Yes, thank you for what you have done with them. Thank you for what you are doing with them. And thank you for what you will do with them. Lord, we thank you that you created them in your image and as your masterpiece. They are royalty because you created them. We thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for their life because, Lord, they are on the battlefield for you. Lord, we ask that you would just forgive us and forgive them, forgive all of us about sin. Created us clean hearts and renew a right spirit. We lift up these young people, Lord. Equip them. Empower them to go and do the work that you are calling them to do. Protect them from all hurt harm. Stand up, tell you right now, get your building hands off of them because there's no room for you in their life. We rebuke you, Satan, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have your way long in their life. Fill them with the Holy Spirit and you will take to transform them into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. And they will go out in the vineyard and do the work they call and try to do and call other people. Teach them what it means to be a disciple that they are called to be. Each one of them needs you in the picture. Yes, Lord. Each one of them Each have a special one. need from you, Lord. Each one of them. Rain one. down your blessings on whatever it is that they stand and you know. Yes, Lord. Lord, Hello. touch them right now yes, with the healing of the Holy Spirit. Some may be delivered from one thing. Yes. Some may be delivered from another, but Lord, let's have you pray. Let them feel your power. Let them feel your presence. Let them feel your peace in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we know that there's power in your name. That we know, Lord, that you can break every, every yoke 
There's been a, a, a chain that's got them in bondage, Lord. Be Lord to release them to you, Lord, that they will be faithful to you, Lord. That they will be commanded to go out and make a difference for the community that this world be transformed, Lord. These are our next leaders, Lord. Use them right now, Lord. Prepare them right now, Lord. That they will be, that they will be the best that you have them to be, Lord. Lord, they can't do it without you. They need you right now. They need you now more than ever. Right now, Lord. Show yourself more to each of them. As they prepare to go in that different direction in life. Cover them. Cover each one of them. Guide their feet. Hold their feet. Yes, Lord. Touch their head right now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, they want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for the work that you are preparing for them. Yeah. When it's all said and done, yeah. prepare them. Yes. For when the day comes and when you come back for your people, yes. you will tell each one of them, well, not good yes. and faithful son. Yes. These and other blessings we ask. In the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And amen. God bless. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I'm going to see some. I'm going to see some of the people and I'm going to say the morning. I'm going to see some of the people who are healed. I'm going to see some of the people who are healed. All right. Good morning. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Thank God for you. Thank God for each of you on today. I want to say I am so happy right now. I am happy because the youth showed up and they showed up. And that message matters. With you. Yes, Lord. God has a plan for you that is calling your life. I'm going to leave that there for now. Yeah. Uh, because you, uh, you show that you have all the tools you need to be about God here. Amen. 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 Give another hand. Amen. I just thank God for all of you that came out on today. Thank God for the, the visitors that are here to support our youth. It's very important for us to support our youth, y'all, because they are our future leaders of tomorrow. And they need each of us to support them, to uh, encourage them, to push them, and to, by the, the, the God's help, to kind of steal them. 
in the right direction. Amen. 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 Uh, did that any other, anybody have any, any comments? Before we um, close on today, I just would like to say uh, for you guys to give the choir a hand yes. one more time. They are uh, operating without their truck with Justin. So we had choir rehearsal on Thursday. Was it Friday? Thursday. And Justin gave me clear instructions. And we did the best we could, but I just want to say thank you. Anytime you ask these children to do anything, if they are available, they are here. And I just want us to continue to pray for the youth of Conference County because we have some really great kids in this community. Amen. All they need is the love and support from us. But I just want to really thank them. Thank their parents for always entrusting their care with me. And thank Erilyn for coming. We thank you guys so, so much for putting in the work that we need to show our youth um, what's better on today. So, and I, we do have some teachers here as well, but um, I just want you guys to know that we really, really appreciate you all for coming to East Bay at Edge Chapel. I just want to say thank you to all of you that participated today and all the adults. We asked, and you said yes without hesitation. Um, Carolyn, Minnie, Dallas Kane, all of you, Yana, and everybody. Y'all, to you, I said thank you for our first program. It definitely won't be the last. And oh. Madison, you made the tears flow, young lady. Mm -hmm. And to the choir and Zion and everybody, it was absolutely excellent. Way yeah. beyond anything I could have imagined. And I have truly enjoyed this call. I thank God for the anointing, and we look forward to what he's going to do. Amen. 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 Great job, great job, and I have one announcement on Thursday of this week. Our third grade, I bring When I think about our children, the hearts are full. Mm. When I think about our children, these are our children. Mm. If you're prepared for this place we call life. Mm -hmm. The things that they're going to face, <clears throat> not the things that we face in the day, but the things that we don't know what to think about. Our late people, here's the one thing testing is good to stay. Not going anywhere. We need to do everything that we can to pray out the prayer with our students. With that being said, I bring third graders the ones who didn't cross over the first time, the ones who didn't cross over the second time. We have a third time, June 8th. And I, Harry Jason, and I bring them into as each of you, including you, high school students. Don't you think where they are now? That those students, those remaining 36 students, do what they need to do, do what they have been instructed to do by their teachers. By the staff that we had coming in, the consultants that we had coming in to provide you with help. That's your prayer on Thursday. Not just Thursday, but even for the upcoming school. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. I'm going to talk to you here. And, uh, 